Well, hi there. We're going to make some cheesy mashed potatoes with bacon and chai. It's a side dish. It smells wonderful and I'm in the process of doing it now. I have just boiled the potatoes and I did it in my Instapot. Good old Instapot. I'm going to read you what's in it. You want two and a half pounds of potatoes, eight slices of bacon, four ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of sour cream, a half a cup of milk, one cup of cheddar cheese, and one cup of mozzarella, a quarter cup of chives, and I'll be right back because I've got to tilt the camera down. I don't want to lose you. Okay, I'm back. We're going to mash the potatoes. cream and fluffy. How do you guys like my new hand mixer? $10 Dollar General. Can't beat that. Okay, so now it says you want to put in half of everything else. So we're going to put half the bacon in, going right in, but you need to mash it first. Half the bacon. We'll call that half. Half the cream cheese. Oh, it's about 90 in my kitchen right now. It's been 85 today. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. You want only half of that. Okay, then you want half the butter. That, so that would be about a quarter of a cup. You only want half. You want, um, ba -ba -bum. that's melted. You want half the sour cream. So we're gonna put about half in here. Half the sour cream. Half the milk, so that would be a quarter cup of milk. About right there. And one cup of cheddar cheese. So I'm only going to use half right now, but it's half of everything. About half of that. Half of mozzarella. Whoa, almost lost it in there. Half the chives. I've got these wonderful chives from my garden. They're beautiful. I'm only going to put about half of that in. And it says salt and pepper to taste. But I'm not going to do that because I don't do salt and Ray can put pepper in. Okay. And I like a lot more pepper than him. Then you want to mix this all up. Then you want to put the other half in. Mix it up so it's nice and creamy. Oh, yeah. It sure is creamy. Then you want to put half of everything else in. There's the butter. There's the cheese. There's the milk. Can't really stand this. I guess I can right there. Gonna put the other half of the bacon in. And then it says you can reserve some for the top if you want. You can um, reserve a little, let's see. You can reserve a little bacon if you want and a little chive. So we'll leave a little bit of that and we'll leave a little bit of chai to put on top and we'll finish the sour cream. Now this is a side dish. I'm going to be cooking, um, but what am I cooking tonight? It's right here beside me. I'm cooking uh, boneless, boneless pork loins. That's going with this. And again, it's going. that's going in my crock pot. Okay, so we're gonna leave the chai and the bacon to top it off. Then you wanna mix it all up again. Just like this. So it gets nice and creamy. Oh, and it is, trust me, it is creamy. Get the cheese off the beaters here. Mmm, goodness here. 
Not used to these new beaters. There. Wonderful. So I have a nice dish right here. And it's about an eight by eight. And this takes 30 minutes at 350. And I did spray my pan. You can butter it, spray it, whatever you want. Okay, just moving that out of the way so you can see here. And I'm just gonna pour this in. All that goodness, mm-mm, look at that. That's gonna be so good. Actually, that really smells good, all the sour creams and the creams and the cheese and the chai. And everything will be in the description box below. I love my Instapot. Everybody knows that. Here we go, just like that. That way, I mixed it everything right in the Instapot, and I didn't have two bowls to clean. I just had one. So then I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of bacon that I reserved that I had crumbled up. They're not all the same size in pieces, but it's all going to taste yummy. Yummy, yummy in this Grammy's tummy. Ray's going to come home and say, what smells so good? There we go, just like that. And we are going to put the chives in, just like that. Topping it right off so it makes it look pretty. There. Look at that. Now we're going to stick it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. So I'll bring you back when we're done. Okay, I just took this side dish out of the oven, and here it is. How good does this look? Yum! So I'm going to put you down just for a second, and I'm going to plate it up with the boneless spare ribs that I cooked in the Instapot. Hold on. Okay, I am going to show you how yummy this came out. Here it is, right here. Look at this. Didn't this come out good? So everything will be in the description box below.